Jesus is perfect man. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. As we consider the birth of Jesus Christ and reflect on Jesus, who he really is, Another aspect of Jesus Christ that we uh, recognize and acknowledge and celebrate is that Jesus is perfect man. That means he became like one of us so that he could completely and fully and truly represent the human race. He became like us, the Bible says. He partook of flesh and blood. So he was perfect man. He was born as part of this human race, as a man, like us, flesh and blood. And this, was, this is very important because this man, Jesus, was a perfect man. The Bible tells us in Hebrews verse 4 and verse 15 that he was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. So this Jesus was man, representing us, part of us, yet he was perfect, he was without sin. And therefore, he and he alone could perfectly represent us. And he and he alone could then become the substitute for our sins because he had no sin of his own. And therefore, he could die a substitutionary death, a death in place of the rest of us. He was perfect which means sin had no dominion over him, Satan had no dominion over him. So although he was born as part of us, he representing us triumphed over the devil and gained victory over Satan on our behalf. Now this is absolutely important because there is no other human person before or after. No matter how good they have been, no matter how much, how wonderful a life they've lived, no other human person was like this, perfect. No other human person was sinless, uh, so that uh, there's nobody else who could die a death on our behalf as our substitute. There was no one else, no other human person who was untouched by sin, unconquered or undefeated by Satan. And therefore Jesus and Jesus alone could represent the rest of the human race on our behalf, conquer Satan, and then turn around and give us that victory. This is why it's so important to understand that Jesus Christ was perfect man. He could perfectly represent the human race. No other human person could ever do this. And he represented you and me. Everything he did, he didn't do it for himself. He did it for you and for me. He died on the cross. He conquered Satan. He rose up from the dead. All, that, all of that for you, for me. We worship him for what he has done. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge you as perfect man, the only person who could fully represent the rest of the human race on the cross, in your death, in your triumph over Satan, in your resurrection. You did it all for us. We thank you, we worship you for being this perfect man. We love you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.